All right, so uh, by noon, uh, what do we generally do? Maybe uh, thinking what we are going to have in lunch or maybe sipping a cup of coffee as I am having right now. But let me tell you what India's Prime Minister, our Prime Minister did this noon in India. Well, there we see him taking India to skies. PM Modi flies LCA Tejas and this is how we and the world came to know. He tweeted at 12.34 p.m. November the 25th, 2023, successfully completed a sortie on the Tejas. The experience was incredibly enriching, significantly bolstering my confidence in our country's indigenous capabilities and leaving me with a renewed sense of pride and optimism about the national potential. Well, this is the Prime Minister of India. He sums up in exact words which purgate the emotions that we will associate with the Prime Minister of uh, the country taking India to skies. There we see him. So this is the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, standing there in front of uh, the light combat aircraft LCA Tejas uh, with uh, the trademark uh, signature shot that everyone uh, would want to give uh, while uh, going on board a fighter jet. There you see Prime Minister Narendra Modi wearing those sunglasses, uh, quite a trademark of our uh, aviators. And there you see him again uh, walking down the runway to go and be seated in the fighter jet. Uh, it says here the uh, logo, uh, Indigenous Tejas MCA, so Tejas MKI. So definitely Prime Minister Modi in all this overall definitely conveys the message that the LCA Tejas, which is indigenously developed, Atmanirbhar Bharat, this is the signature and none other than the Prime Minister himself goes and boards that flight and tells the world that look at India, it has produced one of the safest light combat aircraft, a training jet also, and uh, this takes Indian Air Force, the Indian capabilities to a de totally different uh, uh, field altogether because with Prime Minister Modi boarding this flight, boarding this fighter jet uh, gives a lot of message that India's dependence on other countries, foreign countries to acquire fighter jets maybe sooner than later be a case of history. India has started to produce uh, light combat aircrafts. Look at it. In its all glory, the LCA making a definite statement of how to take to the skies and also tell the opponents, tell the world that India has arrived when it comes to the fighter jet LCA. The light combat aircraft LCA program was started by the government of India in 1984 when they established the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA to manage the LCA program. LCA Tejas was designed and developed by India's HAL which is also known as Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It replaces the aging MiG-21 fighter planes. It was in 2003 that the light combat aircraft program was named Tejas, meaning radiance in Sanskrit by the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Now the Tejas is designed to carry a range of air-to-air, air-to-surface, precision guided and standoff weaponry. Tejas has a single engine compounded delta wing and has a tailless design. Since the 1970s, the MiG-21 planes were a mainstay of uh, the Indian Air Force. The primary goal of LCA program was to replace the aging MiGs. We saw it also how MiG-21 were given a farewell uh, just a few months ago by the Indian Air Force. The secondary goal was the advancement of indigenous domestic aviation capabilities. HAL plans to deliver 123 Tejas aircraft. Uh, uh, to the Indian Air Force by 2024-2025. So this is the history of Tejas, the aircraft that Prime Minister Modi today took to the skies. And remember, Tejas has been inducted also in the Indian Air Force. So this is a message to the world that India has arrived when it comes to the aeronautical side, the capabilities of tackling uh, uh, the enemies in midair and also from the ground. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.